Okay, how will you have a, chance, a reasonable chance of killing a big buck with a bow? Okay, um, just because there's a lot of big bucks in the area doesn't mean it's, it's, you can get it done, but you have to hunt where you can actually kill one. I love this kind of country, Nevada kind of country, or, or uh, um, some parts of Colorado, Arizona. Um, you know, it looks like you couldn't sneak up on a buck, but you'd be amazed at how easy it is to sneak up because there's a lot of undulations. Once you get down at ground level, you realize you can really cover a country here. And I love this kind of country if it has a glassing knob so you can find and refine these bucks. Uh, this thick pinon juniper kind of country that's like the strip of Arizona or a lot of mid country in Arizona or a lot of Nevada, very, very difficult to hunt. They find really big bucks here. But rifle hunters can't kill them, and you can't kill them either. So you, unless they're hitting water, and anymore there's so many game cameras and people hunting water that uh, big bucks, when I say big bucks, I'm meaning older age class bucks, rarely hit water in the daytime. This is the kind of country I love to hunt uh, because you can find them and refine them. You've got to be in good shape, obviously. And, and, you know, you've just talked to three world-class athletes, but you don't have to be or three world-class athletes have talked to you, but you don't have to be world-class athlete to do this. You get on the, um, uh, the internet or, or social media, and I don't spend any time there, but when I do, I look at this honey stuff and everything's about working out and running and being a world-class athlete. And, you know, I've been an athlete all my life, but, you know, I've, I've gotten older. And um, you don't have to be a fitness fanatic to hunt this kind of country. What you do have to have is you have to have mental discipline and you have to have common sense and you have to pace yourself. When I was young, I would fly up the mountain and I'd burn myself out in two days and I was in phenomenal shape when I was young. Well, not like some of these guys, but I was in great shape. I was a marathon runner and, and uh, a, 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 an adventure racer and all that kind of stuff. But now, you know, as you get older, things change, and I'm probably, well, I know I'm more effective now. I go slow. I mean, relatively slow. I'm still in great shape, but I go relatively slow, and I just take my time. Because you spot a deer over here, he's going to be there tomorrow. You know, you don't have to kill him right now. But the reason I like this kind of country, getting back to my point, the reason I like this kind of country is because you uh, can find a deer over and over again. They, they, they bed down in the trees in the daytime, and then they come up. You can find them. You can get between them and their, and their cover. The only thing that's really hard about this country is, well, one, getting into it and staying in it, uh, but the winds are always horrible. So you got to, I call them making... Uh, tactical strikes you get and I'll talk about that a little bit but you you got to get you got to get it done you got to get in there and get it done you can't go and spend a whole lot of time within any proximity of these deer or you are going to get winded okay this kind of country I thought it was impossible to kill a deer in this country for a long time but I've killed two or three deer in this kind of country it's very very difficult to hunt but you have to treat them like sheep. You have to sit and watch them and watch them and watch them until they get in a spot where you can kill them and then, again, make that tactical strike. 